Hi folks, welcome back. Life is Feudal Forest Village. And uh, look at this population of 414. We broke the big 400. Heck yeah. Alright, it's spring year 154. Making great progress. And I have constructed some new homes up here. A couple of the larger uh, homes up in here. And uh, we'll do a real quick sweep through uh, the village and an update of what's happened while I was offline. Uh, I added a couple of the uh, aperies, one out here. We'll get to the other one shortly. And may have taken down a couple of the foresters' lodges and moved them a little bit further out. We uh, are still in the progress of doing upgrades of the tier 2. I, uh, I got one of them done. And let's go ahead and start animal breeding. Alright, got them on that. And we'll stick with the perimeter update first and then we'll take a look on the inside. There's our other apiary. This one is, uh, is as large as you can make it. So, I was just kind of curious to see how big they can get, and that's as big as they get. Nothing uh, over here by our tavern yet, but out here I have begun the downsizing process. Yeah, as much as I like the idea of... Um, you know, really letting this island become something. Um, the AI just can't decide, uh, you know, how to properly uh, place people in the jobs and things like that. So, you know, somebody that's living on the other side of town might try to come out here and do the fish farming, which is completely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, yeah, see, look at that. That house right there um, can't be much further away than any other houses. I think this house might be a little bit further away. So, uh, yeah, that's the AI choosing uh, where to place people and what jobs and whatnot. Not, uh, not super efficient. So, uh, this whole island is eventually just going to come down. Uh, I've already taken a couple of the towers down. Uh, let's see, the Forester's Lodge, a couple of the Gatherer's Huts. Had a, a, a sawmill here, took that down. Uh, yeah, it's all coming down. Oh, and look at this. Look at this, yes. I built another port. Uh, and I'll have to relocate it because after I built it is when I decided that uh, I'm done with this island. We're going to eventually just take everything down and disassemble the bridge and, and be done with it. Um, but look at this. I've got what? Fruit and vegetable expeditions available? How is that possible? I've already collected them all. Um... I, uh, I downloaded and installed a mod for uh, this it's called the seed package and it allows you to do uh, more expeditions for other uh, crops like uh, uh, like strawberries and root crop and some other items um, and I'm anxious super duper anxious to get this underway so I'll tell you what let's lock the pies because that is a main ingredient for this and let's we got our builders already on it cool all right I'm anxious to see how that goes uh, all right continuing on with the update since uh, uh, I uh, also tore down the fishermen's lodges along this side and was just about to tear this one down I was like you know what I think I like the way that looks so I left it there. I even put two people on it, and uh, just for decoration. I definitely don't need the fish coming in from the fisherman's lodge. I've got the crazy, insane uh, fish farm going there, so we're solid on fish. 
Uh, so, uh, in place of the fisherman's lodges, I uh, placed some decorations. One there. I think this was... Uh, yeah, I've just left this blank for now. Um, maybe there wasn't even a fish farm there. I don't remember. Uh, there was one here. Got another decoration there. And... Let's see. This had a weaver shop. And uh, that bugged out and stopped making clothes. So I tore it down, put a uh, decoration there. Tore the weaver shop that was here. Put a decoration and added a house. And... Speaking of weavers, I think this one right here is bugging out. Yeah, yeah, it was bugging out, so I, I just went ahead and took the worker off and have currently only have three weavers. Uh, I had uh, actually reached my max on the clothing, which I've got my max set out at 3,000. So, uh, so I'm not really hurting on clothing. We'll be good for quite a while with just the three weavers. No worries there. Let's see. Anything else on this side? I don't think so. Now, nothing over here, but I did start something here. Um, got an idea for our main Meridian Avenue here. And so I constructed a school, and we're going to tear this one down. I'm also going to tear that house down and uh, we're going to leave some people homeless and let them die. Uh, their sacrifice will be uh, will be appreciated and uh, we'll all get to see it for many many years to come. What did I just do? I'm trying to deconstruct that road. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's crank up the speed a little bit. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Let's see. Okay. I need to tear this d well down as, w as well. Tear a well down as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Everybody's on the jobs they should be doing. Not doing things they shouldn't be doing. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're good on tools, don't need any of that happening. Uh, child died. So, uh, here's something uh, interesting. I uh, uh, had a, a, a child die and the person giving birth died during childbirth. So I was like, where do they give birth? birth at so I clicked on it and it took me to their work location uh, it happened to be a baker and um, so yeah she gave birth at work and died ah, how horrible life is futile man I tell you it was rough back in the medieval days wasn't it alright alright oh, look at that We're staying well above 400 cool cool they deconstruct that all right I might have to uh, do a little bit of like uh, terraforming over that to get um, go away autosave to get this little bit of like road to go away sometimes a uh, deconstructing the road doesn't fully deconstruct it and some parts of it kind of remain when it's up next to a building or whatnot. So, yep, 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 yep. Alright, come on, hurry up. Almost done. Tear it down. Get it done, get it done. Now, did you guys do that little terraforming piece? Did you? What's up? Why won't... Why isn't that gone? Uh, it's possible that since I am actually not making any changes to the ground that it's actually not doing it it's not even registering oh well um 
that may or may not become an issue and we're gonna find out soon enough so all right here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna lay another orchard right there I hopefully made that the right size yeah yeah I think so and I'll tell you what go ahead and harvest that because we need to do it on this side as well harvest this you guys already are and once you guys have that cleared out we'll uh, um, put another uh, another field there so I can go ahead and start working on taking uh, the road out Cool, they got that done super duper quick, didn't they? How does that take five workers? Oh, that's right, the tiny fenceless fields mod that I have active. Uh, the default setting for that mod. Uh, uh, allows you to put more workers in the field. That's that. Alright, I'm going to let him get on with this, and once it is finished and the new layout is laid, I'll be back and show you. Well, there it is. I think that looks uh, so much better. So much better. Yes. Yeah, it was starting to bother me. I had this one orchard sitting here, and it just kind of disrupted the flow of this centerpiece so um, even though it's not in the center I am gonna go ahead and continue to call it my centerpiece <laughs> yeah not so Meridian Avenue how about that um, all right what else let's put another orchard here or possibly a pasture and since I'm still somewhat undecisive on that I am going to start my next uh, project and unfortunately I'm gonna have to kill some more villagers to do it but uh, here goes um, I am going to take these houses down and convert them into the uh, this size house um, just to conserve a little bit more space and uh, I can squeeze in some storage in between them with the, the idea that I've got is taking these two down, these two down, replacing them with uh, the bigger house and doing the same with these two smaller houses and that will free up a space here in the center where I can either put uh, storage or uh, add two small houses so um, I'm gonna get on with it and once this is uh, made a significant change I'll come back and we'll take a look at it so I've, I'm killing my teachers right now by making them homeless and it looks like they're gonna die in the classroom right in front of the kids so this should be uh, a nice <laughs> nice experience for our teenagers in town they can all go screaming home uh, running screaming mom mom the teacher died right in class awesome oh, the teenagers are dying too great see you Dylan <laughs> well, our expedition is just about ready to return I'm super excited and anxious to see what we get oh and it just came back and we got what res mulberry oh 
I don't know what that is. Um, okay, that was... Alright, we'll set another one. I think that was a mulberry... Okay, mulberry tree. Cool. Alright, well, let's plant a mulberry tree. Let's do a, a smaller field. Hmm. And see what those end up looking like. It might be a year or two before... Um, uh, that actually gets mm -hmm. to growing. I mean, they've got to chop all this, you know, harvest this until the trees are, you know, old and dead. I think it's like a four-year cycle. Every four years that uh, they chop the trees down and plant them again. Oh, this is house is done. Good. All right, cool. That means I can tear these two down. And all these folks can just move over to the new home right here. And look how much space that's going to clear up. I mean, this is going to be good. I had uh, some small storage sheds in between. This, the space before was about like this. Enough to squeeze in some storage sheds. But this, um, this house will shift over one square. So that's going to open this up even a little bit more. And uh, I'm happy to make use of that extra space. Alright, we'll be back after some more progress. Well, we've made some really good progress here. And uh, we've got all of these uh, new and improved homes in and upgraded. We're finishing up this last one here. And... To prepare for that to get finished, I'm going to take advantage of that house about to be vacant and make some homeless people. We're, uh, we're continuing the deconstruction and um, the end of the island. I took down the warehouse already. I am in the process of emptying out this barn. Uh, let's go ahead and crank the speed back up. Um, yeah, so just little by little, uh, taking everything down on this island, and we will leave it to um, leave it to be nowhere, the nowhere island. All right. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I totally forgot that that house wasn't upgraded. Oh, I just killed these twelve villagers. Yep, they're dead. Yep. Let's see. So how many homeless? They might have been able to shift around into some available spots, but uh, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, pretty much... Uh, Pretty much everybody that were was in those houses uh, will be dead. Oh, oops. Oh well. All right. Uh, I've added a few more gravestones back here in between uh, these houses here, and I'll also add another row of some of those gravestones in between here. But look at all that free space. That's awesome. Um, well, we were we started out above 400 population, and now we're uh, below it. Um, so it won't be long, though. We'll we'll get back up to 400 population in no time. Uh, I'm gonna cons uh, continue doing this consolidation of homes and everything like that. Uh, another benefit of shifting all of this over. Uh, closer to this direction is it's all closer to this decoration so now these two homes are within that area of effect so that's nice um, <clears throat> yeah I'll con uh, continue doing that consolidation tearing down where I've got two homes two small houses and just make it a regular size house and 
uh, I think that gives the villagers a little extra bonus in their happiness and uh, their strength in being in one of these houses. I could be completely wrong though. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, as soon as this dude, Toby, as soon as Toby dies, we're going to say farewell for the day and, and call it an episode. I, uh, oh, one final thing. We do have another expedition underway that will return uh, late winter, so uh, not too long. Um, I'm, and we'll find out what we get in tomorrow's episode. So, uh, say goodbye, Toby. Goodbye, Toby. Toby just died. All right, hey, mm -hmm. if you're still with me, I really appreciate you sticking around, watching the video. Hope it's been enjoyable for you. And you have a super-duper great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.